No one needs to know. <laughs> what breaking the rings? <laughs> No, I've broken it, I've broken it. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Hi guys, we're at Simrex and Expo 2023 here and we have the coffee racer crew and the uh, coffee racer guy here, which if you don't know, is a compact way to hide your sim rig from your partner or your significant other. Basically, this is for people that are insecure about their sim racing. I have never had a chance to try this, uh, so this will be my first time uh, using it. Um, and you're gonna give me a full demo and uh, talk me through how it operates and what's going on and uh, the challenges and everything. So cool. what, what's like the, the big thing to really uh, note about this initially before I jump onto it? I think well, the, the, the big thing or the big challenge we have is, and that's why I asked to understand as well, is that we show people that it's a, a real alternative. So that it's, um, you, I, I, will, I, want, I challenge you to press the brakes, I challenge you to have the high Newton meters and uh, to feel that it's really stable and it can replace a rig. Okay, so We've actually got a Simicube wheel on here at like 15 Newton meters or so, Simicube wheel rim, and some housing bell pedals uh, on the bottom. So this is a full hardcore test, and this is just underneath basically a, a desk really, but you, could you have this without the desk? Yeah, yeah you can, uh, but the thing is with the screen. So we have a couple of options over there okay. that you can really use with a couch or with a, 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 a lounge chair. This is the version that is meant to be, let's say, under your desk and connect to your desk chair and work with the monitor that's on your desk. Okay, but you could you could just put that in front of a TV in the sitting yep. room with it. Okay. Yep. So I'm gonna jump on now and uh, experience the coffee racer. But you did just say earlier that you don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. I brought it for you. <laughs> he drinks tea, obviously. He's a man of culture. <laughs> so. Um, you're gonna lock me in here. So yep. I have to wheel forwards, I think, and then put my so feet in first. Okay. Yeah, move towards it. And then when you're properly over, you lower the chair. And now you're on. Actually, so already that's quite interesting because what that does is means that you don't get that problem with the chair rotating. If you've ever used an office chair with a sim rig, which a lot of us start out with, uh, that means that the chair is now actually stable. This, this already feels like a, a, a proper sim rig, which is cool. Uh, we still got the armrest there, which is nice. So you can sim race and just chill out like a dapper gentleman. Uh, are we, is that it? We're, we're done there, basically. Yeah, as the pedals are in the right position, you yeah. can have a go. And then we're gonna, I could move this back a bit. It's just a standard. Is this, a, is this attached to, you can attach this to any chair? Is this a... it, it attaches to most gaming chairs. Okay. So uh, Noble chairs, DX Racer, Secret Lab, those type of chairs have all at the same bottom and the frame bolts in between. Cool, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna drive. Yeah, probably crash, but we'll drive. <laughs> so this is all, this wheel is attached to the coffee racing unit, not the table at all. Yeah. It's all just attached to this, and it, it's, it's genuinely feels, it feels like a, like a proper sim rig, like a, a, a solid T-slot sim rig, but, it's a small unit that folds away, like the uh, the wheel. You don't have to take the wheel off it. You can leave the pedal and the wheel in it, or you uh, do. You, you take the wheel off and you put it in the box separately. Okay. So depending you, on the model. So you just pull the wheel off it, but then it folds down. Can you, you can leave the pedals on it though. Or? Yeah. Okay. So you slide the pedals to the back, fold the whole wheelbase down, take the wheel off, and, and close the box. I can show you in a minute. You know what? Can you can you crank it up to maximum force feedback now? So we'll see what this is like. Full full force if possible. Yeah, let's but go. Yeah, I, I, this is totally uh, stiff, which is really nice. Full strength test. The gamer muscle coffee test. Muscle versus coffee. <laughs> see. Uh, but it, it, it isn't moving at all. So. That is really actually quite impressive considering it's just uh, their table and then the chair and uh, a chunky uh, direct drive wheel. Driving around Zandvoort. You are based in uh, Holland, right? Amsterdam, yeah. And, yeah, of course, and that's why we're driving around Zandvoort. You know, you... <laughs> it's not Brands Hatch, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> well, it has a banking now. <laughs> Mike, would you prefer the the new layout, the new uh, Formula One version layout? Would you? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. You prefer it to that to the old one? 
Yeah, I, li I like the banking itself. Okay. Yeah. But you, you can admit that Brands Hatch is a better track, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's watching this video. <laughs> How to make friends and influence people here. But yeah, no, it, I mean, the braking, so I'm going to really stamp on the brake here. You know, so the thing is, with the braking, you can see that an office chair is going to be an office chair. So you are going to have the thing if you have a really heavy load sail brake that the back of the chair is going to move. I don't think that's going to be unavoidable. That's not a coffee race. It's all the actual deck. This is not moving at all. It all stays as a unit. And uh, with load sail brakes, actually, this is a weird uh, myth is that you have to have a heavy load sail brake. You, if you were using something like this, you would just make your brake a little bit more sensitive. But that's the limitation there is on the chair not the actual unit they've got, so I can't really fault that. Um, feel, feels really nice. I mean, what sort of adjustability do you have on the on the pedal tray? Like, how much can you move the pedals up and down or angle them? Yeah, so we've tested it. So you can move them back and forth. So we've tested it with children, up to people that are two meter five, even yesterday. And you can also incline them. So there's a lot of movement in there. Uh, you just cannot move them all the way up. Okay, so, so, like, so you have formula position is not possible at this point. No, but you, like can, you can angle and yeah. move it around. So that's good. So you got, you do get the sort of basic sim rig adjustments of, of angling and tilting your pedals and getting that dialed in whilst having the solidity, yeah. whilst also being able to hide it from people that hate sim racing, which is most people, let's be honest. Yeah. The unlike, we're, we're enlightened sim racers, but most people aren't, sadly. Maybe, maybe one day. Yeah, well, I'm happy I can use my room for racing and working and drinking and I have a multiplayer setup, so I think there, there's there's more things to win. <laughs> and drinking, that's who's <laughs> in the same and room. And drinking, all in the same room. Not at the same time. It, but yeah. with this being a Dutch product, yeah. um, is it also waterproof for when the dikes fail? <laughs> it, I don't think it floats. It, it doesn't sure. float. Oh, okay. It's like 50 kilos. Actually, you're going down with the rest of Holland <laughs> yeah. when the dikes fail. Let's um, click this off and see how easy it is to okay. clip off. So we yeah. unlock the tilt of the chair. Yeah. And then you move forward until you hear a click. Yeah. yeah. Now you move backwards. Oh, okay. And you push off. It's nice. So we've got one here that's not attached to anything, so you can uh, so we can see what it's like pointing it away. You've got the uh, Logitech uh, DD Pro on there. So uh, how does it actually collapse down then? And uh... so you undo the clamps. And it's needs to know what well, breaking the ring <laughs> cut, cut, cut. as simple as that guys um, you've hidden away your sim racing hobby no one needs to know that you're a sim racing degenerate uh, nice little tabletop in there what uh, material is this made of uh, this is walnut yeah but we also have the oak uh, the oak uh, and obviously the the metal trays for when it doesn't need to be so fancy Okay, so people can basically, you can choose the, is the tray top separate to the actual bottom unit? Uh, well, on the website you can configure, like I okay. want a white one, I want a black one, I want it for in the living room or under your desk, which okay. has the wheels, uh, and I want the walnut or I want uh, the oak, and you can also have a plant stand. Okay, nice, cool. So, basically, it's a, it's a mix between a sim rig, a table, and just general furniture. And you, you, did you come up with the design of this yourself? Yeah. And was this what inspired the, uh, what motivated this? Well, I, I, I'm old. <laughs> so, I, so I had, uh, when GT Academy started, I had this little, I built this little wheel stand basically out of a plain MDF, put it in the corner of the room, it, it didn't look really good. Uh, then I got a girlfriend and uh, the wheel stand didn't last that long. So it had to move out of the room. Uh, I didn't play it much also, so it was fine, but a, a year later I was like, I, I do want to race sometimes. And then I made actually the first one, which was a wooden box in the corner of the room, plant on it, girlfriend happy, and I could just race occasionally, which is what I do. Um, and then a couple of iterations, new houses later, and then Corona came and I was like, okay, now everybody needs this. Everybody's in their houses, they're bored. Nobody's bored when they're racing. So let's make sure I, uh, I, I get this on the market. Awesome. Well, yeah, no, I, think, I think it's really interesting. It's, uh, it's different. It's really different from what you normally see in the sim racing space. Um, I'll have to, we'll have to do some uh, checking of this out more. Maybe we can get one at home sometime and I'll just, I'll just take one of these. Oh, it's quite hefty, so <laughs> we're not going to steal one here. But uh, really appreciate you taking the time of uh, going through this with us. Thank and, you. Uh, one of the, 
more interesting things at Sim Race Expo. Certainly very different when it comes to uh, Sim Rigs. Thank you. But yeah, um, yeah, thanks for chatting. Yes, but thanks for watching this video as well, guys. Make sure to have a cup of tea, uh, subscribe, like, and all that lark. Uh, I'll see you soon.